So today I want to do a video on hair care, and I'll start off by saying what this video isn't about, only because I'll probably do one of these videos in the future, but this is not about like how to make your hair look thicker or any of that, because I do have fine, long, fine, thin hair. So I do have some really good uh, tips and tricks on how I make my hair look thicker and using extensions and doing all of that stuff, but this video is not that. This video is more about um, hair care. My hair has changed a lot in the last few years. It's grown like a foot. And if you have fine, thin hair, now all of the, most of these tips can go no matter how long or short or thick whatever your hair is. This is about keeping your hair, what's helped for me repairing damage in my hair. So a lot of these might go across the board, but I'm coming from a place of fine thin hair and one of the tips that not everyone will agree with is I like to keep it clean. I find that there's a lot to be said for your hair just looking clean. My fine thin hair <laughs> looks fuller and shinier and more vibrant, not the opposite, which I think is what people assume will happen if they keep their hair too clean, like there's all this to be said about the second, third day hair, it's thicker, it's easier to work with, and a lot of that is true, but if you want your hair to look good and healthy, especially if you have a hair type similar to mine, I would suggest keeping it as clean as possible. I mean, I try to spread it out like a day or two here, but overall my hair looks healthier and better when it's clean. Okay, so in the shower. I wash my hair and the what changes the most is probably shampoos. I get I usually get the big bottles like from Ulta with the pumps and uh, like right now since it's winter and it's a little drier I have Aveda's um, scalp scalp renewal something like that that's supposed to be really moisturizing for your scalp so I'll use that like a few times a week first and then wash it one more time with another one of my shampoos. I switch out. I don't have like a go-to shampoo. I switch them out. But anyways, first thing I do is wash my hair. And then is what I do, and I have an example here. This is the Kerastase Mask Intense. Any of these pot deep conditioners, I don't even own a like a normal squeeze conditioner. I only use the pot conditioners. And like from the drugstore, I really like the L'Oreal. It's a yellow one. Um, I wish I had one here, but I just had one of these. And when I ran out, I started to use this one. But anyways, these pot masks as well do, I'll just take some and put, like, hold my hair like this, put it in the ends, take a wide tooth comb. See, I have very, I'll, I'll come back to this. So I take a wide tooth comb, brush it out, twist it up, and clip it. And the last thing I do before I get out of the shower is rinse that out. So every time I'm washing my hair, the ends are getting deep treated. And I'd say that that's probably one of the biggest things is using a good deep treatment on the ends of my hair every single time that I wash it. That really Now, once I get out of the shower, I will always um, like spray it with a, a detangler. I have this one here and I've actually, this is BioSilk Silk therapy number 17 and I have actually this is the second I believe I get these at like TJ Maxx or Ross's I TJ Maxx but this is the second I'm almost done with this as you can see I only have a very little bit left in this this is the second bottle of this specific one that I've used which is not common for me I usually look for things to oh this is another tip even though I have fine thin hair I don't use any of that volumizing fine thin hair type of shampoo conditioners or products in general, almost overall. I use a lot of stuff for damaged hair, stuff to repair hair, stuff for thick hair. I find that it really makes your, you know, it, it makes sense if you think about it, but it's a little counterintuitive to buy something for thick hair if you have thinner hair. So that's just, a, that's a, a really good tip I think that I find really helpful. But anyways, I just spray this over and then I have a few of these here. I have a variety. A lot of times I'll get them at, T I find like TJ Maxx has really, really good hair care. Um, like they have high-end hair care for really good um, prices. And I just get some random ones. Like right now I have four of them and I like to switch back and forth between them. Some of them are sprays, some are drops, some are pumps. And I just put some in and I run it through the very ends of my hair. Then, maybe once a week or so, I have, I really like the caviar, actually Alterna is what it is. I get this stuff at Sephora, and this is a lengthening hair and scalp elixir. 
and I just put a few pumps in and then this goes right on your scalp and like I said I only do this like once a week and um, I just I don't know if it really does anything but I you know I like their products here's my favorite product probably hair product I I don't know this is tough because so many things do so many different things for your hair but I have went through a lot of bottles of this by Alterna Caviar CC Cream 10 in 1 Complete Leave in Hair Perfector. And I almost always try to get this where the sun's not shining. I'll try to link any of the products um, that I mention, but I'm mentioning a lot of them. Any of the specific good ones. This stuff, I would say, if you have hair type similar to mine, this would be the one product that I would get. You can put this in your hair uh, wet or dry. If I'm curling my hair, even just a little bit, like I often don't curl like my whole head of hair. I'll just take a curling iron and kind of like flip out some pieces of my hair. This stuff, I always, I'll put it on dry. I'll put a little bit on my hands, rub it together like this and kind of just squeeze it down. I'll do that when it's wet. Also, I just really, really like it. On the rare occasion that I blow dry my hair, I have this uh, L'Oreal Derma Filler uh volume filler densifying this is a weightless treatment styler leave-in for fine thin hair this is the only product i have that's marketed to fine thin hair and i have found that i do believe that products meant for blow drying generally do what they say which is just kind of interesting but I rarely blow dry my hair. It's only if I'm in a super hurry and I've washed my hair like in the morning, which I don't often do. I usually like to do it at night and let it dry naturally overnight. But if for some reason I have to blow dry it or I just want a little bit of volume so I blow dry up here, I like to use this. The thing I was going to say is I use these Mason Pearson combs, which are an investment for combs, but... I don't, I don't even own a brush, <laughs> believe that or not, that may sound bizarre, crazy to many of you, but um, in the shower, I can just use this like really wide tooth um, comb, and then, but when I get out of the shower, this one is, will just slide through my hair. I don't have tangly hair, and a brush is just like a it's like vulgar for my hair. It's kind of just too much. I just don't, I don't need it. I've got really slippery, easy to comb hair. So that's why if, if you have hair like that, I would suggest maybe using combs instead of brushes. I, I find that, I feel like that they, um, distribute product really well and I think that brushes a lot of times make my hair a little greasy looking because like as you see combs like this is made out of plastic and it can't really accumulate a lot of product like in the down the bristles like brushes can so I don't know if it really does anything but I have these two and then for other things like um parts and maybe some teasing or anything like that I use like one of these combs from the um like cbs walmart wherever okay so i think i've said i'm going to be doing like i said a few other videos i want to do one on how to make thinner hair look thicker and i want to do some hair uh styling tips because i know that like i feel like there's a little bit of a disconnect not completely but a little bit between this like that long thick apostolic pentecostal hair and then like short hair my hair is very medium length thin to medium definitely super fine i i just i don't find a lot of tips that really seem to have to do with exactly my type of hair so maybe there's someone else out there that you know could use a few tips and um but anyways i'll be doing um some more videos on stuff like that and i want to talk about some tools that i like and also like um styling products these have all been like hair care products um more styling product videos so if there's any other um category that you can think of that you would like a video on i may do i'm not sure if i just said this but i may do some like um hair styles too i don't do a ton of them i really like the look of like nothing too fussy um but if i I do have a few go-tos, so I'll probably end up sharing those, but if you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave um, any requests in the comments. I would be happy to uh, share any tips that I have, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.